This episode of the Answer is Yes Baja Sessions is brought to you by Baja Bound Insurance Services. Driving to Mexico? You can buy and print out your Mexican auto insurance policy online in minutes with their easy-to-use website. They also have great travel information to help you plan your trip south of the border. Visit BajaBound.com. Hello, this is Brian Thomas, and you're listening to the Baja Sessions. Over the last three decades, I've lived, worked, and played from the top to the tip of the majestic peninsula of Baja, California. And because of this, I've met some incredibly interesting people with equally interesting stories. And today on the Baja Sessions, we're going to chat with one of them. The Blackwell Brotherhood is a clan of four teenage-serving brothers from the central coast of California. About 10 years ago, their adventurous parents started building a home in San Jose del Cabo at the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. The decade-long project is finally near completion, and the Brotherhood has just returned from a three-week trip that included some manual labor, a little filmmaking, and lots of surfing and tacos. Owen and Elias Blackwell, how are you two boys doing today? I think I'm doing pretty good. What about you, Elias? I'm doing fine. So... This is a special episode of the Baja Sessions. I have yet to interview any family members. You guys are the first ones. These are my nephews, Owen and Elias Blackwell. Owen's the oldest son of four to my sister and brother-in-law. And Elias, you're the second oldest. Why don't we start off with... And there's a reason these kids are on this podcast today, guys. Um, And and we're going to dive into that in a second. And it is related to Baja. But let's start off with first, tell me your age. How old are you, O-Dog? So I'm 14. And I'm 12. And I'm the other, I'm, we got Owen and Elias. Owen is 14, Elias is 12. Sorry. And um, Owen and Elias, I just literally got back last night from? Cabo. Cabo. From Cabo. They uh, were on a three-week trip down there that was part vacation, part education, part manual labor, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, my sister and brother-in-law bought property next door to my house in Southern Baja back 13, 14 years ago and have been slowly building a home on it ever since. Owen, you were alive when they moved to Cabo. I was alive when they moved. And Elias, I think you had not yet been born. Is that right? Yeah, that's what, yeah. You had not yet been born. Uh, your mom and dad were living in a trailer on the property next door to our house as they were building uh, that house. Actually, I'm trying to think. You guys rent, yeah, you guys rented a couple houses. We rented before, yeah. several different yeah. houses. So, yeah. And then, then you guys moved back. No, no, wait a minute. No, you we had moved another back. brother. There yeah. was another brother that was built down there. Yeah. Mr. We- Miles. Miles is the Mexican in the family. Yeah. So yeah, child number three was born um, a couple years after they moved, and then they moved back. Uh, I think it was 2008 was when you guys yeah. moved back, and then one more brother was born. So they still have their home. They've been working on finishing it, and um, you guys were down there for three weeks working on the house, surfing, yeah. making movies, and yeah. basically having a good time as teenage boys down in, in Baja. So a couple Questions right off the bat. Three weeks down there, are you glad to be back in the United States or you wish you were still in Mexico? I I wish I was still in Mexico. (laughs) Yeah. And I think I think I'm I'm glad to be back in the United States. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So Owen, I spent a lot of time with you when you were a little kid, which you probably really don't remember much of it. I don't really remember being down there, no. You don't have any recollection recollection of living in Mexico? I mean like when I look at pictures, it sort of brings back memories, but not, not really, because I moved back when I was like four, so, yeah. Yeah, wow, that was a long time. And alas, you have no re- memories of it, yeah? No. Yeah. Well, when you go back down there now, and you get to see the changes to your property in the house, yeah. um, that's got to be kind of a fun experience, huh? Very, very fun, yeah. Very enjoyable. So you're just back from three weeks. What kind of progress was made? What were you guys doing? What did you get to experience while you were there? Well, um, it doesn't look like half of it's abandoned anymore. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. So what, what, uh, Owen is referring to here is that, um, and it happens in the United States too, but I guess for some reason it's easier in Baja. You build yeah. as you can. And so 
there's been quite a long time between the start of this home yeah. and living in a trailer next to it uh, and finishing a few rooms off to now ultimately trying to get the rest of the house yeah. done. So yeah. you guys have been texturing, you've been painting, you guys yeah. have been stacking blocks, mixing cement. I made some artwork for the made inside. Made some artwork, yeah. What kind of artwork? It was like an abstract painting. It's on a really big canvas that we found. And you, we were talking before I pressed record. I asked you what your friends think about. So you guys live in, in the Central California Central. area. Well, or, Central Coast. Central Coast. And all surfers. You guys are all surfers. Yeah. Actually, the whole family is a, is a surfing family. So you have friends that surf. What do they think about the fact when they hear their buddies are going to Mexico for close to a month? So I had a friend, Nathan, who came down and stayed at the same place as us at um, Los Olas. He was excited. He really wanted to come. He had a fun time surfing with us. And I had another friend that actually came down. His name's Ashcon, And they, his parents thought, oh, that's dangerous. Aren't you guys worried about being down in Mexico? <laughs> and I don't know. I told them I didn't really think about it that much. And I don't actually know if any of my friends actually knew I went down to Mexico. <laughs> oh no, so, several of them knew. Some, yeah, so, some of my friends knew. I don't know. They they seem kind of indifferent. Yeah. And so, is are there scary things about being in Mexico for you guys? Not really. No. Not not really. I mean, no, not really. No. It's, it's what what are the differences? What do you see different when you're there compared to where you live? There's definitely more um more monetary contrast down there that's a big word for you buddy <laughs> monetary contrast so i was thinking about it as i was asking you the question there's no question that that we have poverty here in the united states and i yeah. also think that you guys know that you know the united states is is a um, there's less poverty yeah in the united states that doesn't mean there's no poverty yeah I think one of the things that is is um, interesting, at least to the about the places we go mm -hmm. in Baja, is that contrast, that that monetary contrast that you're talking. Remember that. That's a good good phrase. It's in some ways just more tangible. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely in closer proximity to each other. Right. Okay. So, like, if you think about where our neighborhood, yeah. we live in a neighborhood or have homes in a neighborhood um, that is. You could maybe, I mean, in, in some ways, is fully upper class when you compare it yeah. to absolute, you know, Mexico standards. But um, it's dirt roads and and um, homes don't have, you know, there's no CCNRs or codes to keep them all yeah. looking the same. But uh, directly above our neighborhood is um, Carencia with multi multi million dollar homes. Yeah, and so the the, the separation of um, the different classes, maybe, is what you're referring to. Is it yeah. you see it more? Does it make you uncomfortable, Owen? Doesn't really make me uncomfortable. It, I've I've seen that, <clears throat> especially the people like who are working on our house. They, they're very content and being um, like less f fortunate with less money. It doesn't seem to make them less content. They 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 work hard and. They don't like. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem to me, at least, that they think, "Oh, poor me. This, these people have this huge house, and I have this little, little house." And I don't know. A lot of the people there, they, the the people who come down there, who stay in the billion dollar hotels, ten thousand dollars to bring their family down there for three days. It seems to me some of them. Um, are maybe less content than the people who are living in the neighborhoods, in the shacks and stuff like that. Well, I think that's probably a fair observation. How does it make you feel when you see that? I don't know. It it, um, it definitely makes me uh, feel as though it definitely uh, re reinvigorates the fact that money is not what makes... Um, people happy. Well, that's a good a good thing to recognize, and it's good that you get to recognize that at, at the age that you're at. Elias, what stands out to you? Um. <laughs> the good way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you guys surfed every day when you were there, right? Yeah. I don't 
I think <laughs> I think there were a couple of days I didn't surf, but <laughs> you were behind the camera. Every I was day. behind the camera. Uh, Owen is is uh, becoming a, a cinematographer, an editor. He's an artist. He has an artistic uh, mindset. You've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, I do. And I was struggling to uh, pronounce the the name so of the YouTube channel. It is Surfing Gniferous. And what does Gniferous mean? Gniferous is, so when I when I came up for the name of the channel, I was thinking, what's like a name that's going to be, that's going to be like related to surfing, that is going to be unique and people are going to remember it. They're not, it's not just going to blend in with everything else. And so surfing Gniferous is actually, Gniferous is surfing spelled backwards. <laughs> I did not know. You know what I thought it was when I read it? What? I thought it was like a... Um, slang of like maybe one of your younger brothers the way they used to say nephews because it kind of yeah. sounds like a nephews gen- nephews maybe but it's backwards surfing I it's did not surfing know. backwards yeah surfing 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 but surfing gniferous so most of that is is your cousins or your brothers and and cousins surfing. yeah so elias my brother his uh his friend came down for a week and and um, my our cousins came down for a week. Right. You're looking at me like I'm. I'm, I'm so to the <laughs> listeners that are wondering what's going on, they're moving their hands around on the table, and it's make, making. I'm, I'm just going to have to tell you guys over the microphone. It makes noise into the okay. microphone so they can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your your YouTube channel. It's about your your surf trip or, or the, your your brothers and your cousins surfing down there on yeah. your trip. That was how you spent a lot of your time there. Yes. And Elias, you spent most of your time surfing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys worked on the house. Or did you not work on the house? I'm kind of wondering I worked on the house for the first week. I went up with my dad every day. Like for the, we surfed in the morning. Then we went up to house, worked. I painted. I helped the guys make the cement, shovel the sand. And then we came back down, ate lunch, surfed again, and then went back up and kept painting and. I worked house. a little bit on the house, not not a ton. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm trying to remember, Elias. Do you go to a bilingual school in Los Osos? Yeah, you do. It's in San Luis, but yeah. So, so how Spanish. how's your Spanish when you're down there? It's muy bien. Es muy bien. Con los so personas. mi español es es más o menos. <laughs> más o menos. When you guys were working on the house. Were you? I saw pictures of Gustavo. Mm-hmm. Were you guys yeah. working with Gustavo and talking to Gustavo? Yeah. Yeah, Gustavo. He's doing most of the tile. I was mostly helping the um, uh, people who are texturing the outside of the house. Uh huh. But yeah. And how do you say uh, texture in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I oh yeah thanks. ever yeah. heard him Textura. hesitate and not know something in Spanish. Yeah. yeah. And how about tile? How do you say tile? <laughs> oh, you didn't learn? Azulejo. Azulejo. And I'll tell you guys a funny story. Um, when we were working on our house, I was going to work every day. And so Amy, Auntie Amy, was home most of the time when the workers were there. And so mm-hmm. she was learning to communicate with the workers. Auntie Amy learned more of the construction terms than I like. Just, I'd have to ask her things like, uh. how do you say tile? How do you say hammer? How do you say... She was the one that was learning all of the, yeah. the construction Spanish terms while I was doing normal work stuff. I don't really know construction terms, terms in Spanish. No. Well, maybe a good time to learn them next time you go down to help. Yeah. What stands out about the guys that were working? Their attitude. They, Like Owen said, they didn't really uh, – they were happy with what they were doing. Yeah. They're hard very hardworking. Hard yes, hard. very hardworking. Yeah. Do you guys hear? So, so to the listeners, you know that that um, I steer away from political and controversial stuff on this podcast. So I don't want to, and, and that's not ever going to be what this podcast is. But you guys hear stuff about politics in these yeah. days, and um, for for me, Baja is home. I have yeah. friends on both sides of the border, and, and I kind of tune out all of the, the lame stuff we hear about the border, let's yeah. just say. Mm-hmm. Um, does going, um, of course it does, going to Mexico and interacting with people from another country and immersing yourself in their culture, 
uh, affects how you see the world. Yeah, and yeah, so definitely. When you hear the